number of people to praise him and bedecked himself with gold, diamond, and other precious stones. But his house looked dull and empty because Tamina's books were not there. This was the opinion of the visitors. He attempted to fill the lacuna by inviting scholars, poets, and musicians to his place. This way, he tried to invest his home with meaning. One day, Basuya came to know that Tamanna was ill. The news made him happy. At that point, Basavaya found the means of surpassing Tamanna. Health is wealth. Tamanna's disease was Basavaya's health. But Tamanna thought differently. He had taught it another method of punishing Basavaya. Tamanna at the level of the body. Basavaya would go on offering a stiff competition. What if he died? That Basavaya can do nothing to defeat him. The old man ends his story telling the coconut garden owner's wife that wishing to destroy Basavaya completely, Tamanna gave up everything and ran off from his village. As long as Tamanna was there, Basavaya had a reason to be alive. But once Tamanna left the place, Basavaya passed away. The old man tells the lady that Basavaya died because he had no reason to live. Then he confesses to her that he is Tamanna himself. After Basavaya's death, Tamanna tells the lady that he forgot all his songs and ballads, lost his fame and became a non-entity. He concludes telling her that that way he avenged himself. Before going to the last part of the story, Tamanna tells the woman that Experiences of his life had made him realize that human nature is very strange. He sums up his experiences in one sentence. He tells her that though man works to fulfill his many needs like wealth, education, art and many more things, Yet those things do not give him the right compelling reasons to live. All through his life man lives for some kind of unbearable wakefulness. It is in this wakefulness that he finds the reason for his existence. Finally he tells the woman that he thought of this story when all of a sudden Russia told America that she is not their enemy and Russia shall not wage a war against America. He asked her to guess the agony and boredom of America. Then he remarks, a nation is capable of withstanding strains like this. But human being cannot. The old man gives this analogy probably to him that after Basavaya's death, his own life had become meaningless. Finally, using his autobiographical account as an example, the old man tries to covertly give her a message. He tells her that her husband was flourishing as a rich man and was not amenable to any advice. Man is so complicated that till the day of his death he goes on living for some revenge or the other 
confronting one challenge or the other. He wants her to understand that she had better try to understand why her husband is leaving like that. Finally ask her to take the whole story as a dream and not to take his words seriously. We can understand here that he is saddened by the coconut grew owner's lifestyle and wants to put an end to it by cautioning the lady about her husband and do something to find out why her husband was doing so. As soon as the old man finishes his story, the first narrator reappears and tells the reader that he had seen all this in a dream and hence he is unable to elaborate. Thank you my dear students. I hope this presentation helped you a lot to understand this chapter. I wish you all best of luck. If you have any doubts, please come back to the presentation and clarify your doubts. Thank you. Have a nice day.